Hey guys, Anthony Piagibona here, back with another market update. In today's video, we're going to go over the past trades we took. We're going to talk about where we see the market going and upcoming news to look out for. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. If you trade that, you definitely want to hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's dive into the charts. So we're taking a look at ES right now, the daily chart. And you can see that we didn't really break market structure to the downside yet. We kind of just have this pullback and we're recycling back up to sweep one more high, in my opinion, on ES. We could put in a lower high, but I think we actually might target this 41.75 and we might even push all the way up to sweep all highs at 42.10 before continuing lower. But in my opinion, first target is kind of looking at that 41.75 area before continuing lower and coming and trading down to about the 4,000 area back into these fair value gaps that I drew out on the four hour chart sometime about April 20th to April 24th. So if you take a look at the four hour chart, there's a bunch of these fair value gaps I drew up. Here's one at uh, 40.98 down to about 40.88. We didn't quite get there. So I think that's first target on the downside. There's this fair value gap that we filled and that was a long I took. I'll show you that on the chart in a second, but let me just cover these few fair value gaps. Uh, one down here at 40.53 down to 40.49. Another one down from 40.25 to 40.18. And then another one from 40.14 to about 40.07. So I think targets to the downside are definitely be those low 4,000s, possibly sweeping this low at 39.80 before continuing higher. So in my opinion, I think there's not much more upside for ES before starting to take out some lows and trading lower. And I've covered in previous videos the divergences and a few trading strategies that I look at. But before we go into that, I want to show you the long I took. I was in this long uh, 4113 entry. I talked about this in that previous video. So if you didn't take a look at the previous video, I'll link, link it in the cards at the top right. Just click on that and you can watch the full breakdown I did, the, the trades I got in and why I got in the, the trades for the longs I took this past week. But the first one, again, uh, about 31 points of upside we got in long 41.13 the stop was about 40.82 which was below a, a daily low and the target was into this fair value gap here uh, this was drawn from the one hour and the four hour chart i thought we would target at least halfway point into the fair value gap and we hit the target uh 41.44 actually friday when nfp came out so nfp news came out the market was closed but futures were open for about an hour and uh that got out, it hit TP, so it took profit there. 31 points was about a one to one R, and uh, it worked out perfectly. So we got in this long, I believe it was um, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Thursday morning, I added more to the long, and then got out Friday morning. The other long here was on NASDAQ, and I got in at an average of 13.005. I added to this, so this is on the four hour chart, but I basically, I first started getting in at um, 12.989 once we swept the low from the Wednesday low. And then I started adding once we were pushing back up. And uh, TP was a fair value gap as well. And it was 13.125 and uh, took profit there. And I got out, it was a two to one R because the stop was at 12.924. And that was a daily low from a few days ago. So we took about 120 points. Now what I wanna see for the market is actually, I want us to, to push up on ES, uh, Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday with CPI, sweep these recent highs, potentially get up into the, the highs all the way at 42.10. I wanna see us push up there, but simultaneously, I wanna see HYG, see how we're still trading down. I wanna see HYG make a, a lower high than the 75.67. So, you know, if we, we start chopping around here, and as we're chopping around, maybe we get up to there by that uh, like Wednesday, lower high, but then higher high on ES. Boom, that'd be my trigger to short. And I'd be looking to get in short, again, 41.75 or higher. Starting there, potentially getting some ads in at 41.90, maybe 42.00, stop being about 42.50. And then TP being down at the uh, 4,007, targeting the fair value gap, potentially even targeting these lows. That's gonna be my, my two and a half to one R, potentially three to one R, if we get some ads up top. That's a big trade because that's about 170 points and it'll be even more than 170 points if we get in some ads a little higher. But that's basically a trade I'm looking at to swing for my swing account and that'll be a great one. Uh, same thing on NASDAQ actually. If we do get those divergences, then again, if we put in a higher high, we might even put a lower high, but if we put in a higher high and we get up to that 13,400, Again, would love to get in a short position, 13,400. Um, might just be a small position because I do focus more on ES and um, I'm more confident in that because NASDAQ can get a little messy and aggressive and kind of stop you out. So 
you know, I, I find that I don't put as much size on my NASDAQ trades as ES because ES is more clean and I can rely on not getting stopped out or not having these aggressive spikes or drops to um, go against me. So I'd be looking to get in there about 13,400 and, and my TP is the 12,500 by April 21st, but at least sweeping these lows here to the left at uh, 12,600. So, you know, this would be a, a great one. I'd have to put the stop about 13,600. So this would be a 3.7 R. Um, small size on this one if we if this one does play out. Also, if we do put in a lower high while having that divergence on ES, then I would put, you know, I would put a position on, let's say we get to about 13,260 or something. Uh, the stop would be uh, just above the, the highs. If the divergence played out where ES made a new high, HYG made a lower high, and we had a topping, if I felt like we were topping, then uh, and, and NASDAQ did not make a new high, Boom, perfect short entry for me. And I would just keep uh, tight stops above the, the high we made, targeting uh, down at 12,500 to 12,600. So those are some big trades that I'm kind of been looking out for and I've been watching for. I'm looking for, for more downside to come in the next two weeks, but I, I'm looking for a high to be set before we get into that. So, you know, on the VIX, if you take a look at the VIX on the daily chart, we, we are coming down to this support trend line. It's basically just a little trend line on the VIX. You can't really do these trend lines, but it's kind of been playing out all the way back to 2017 where every time we came down here we had a good spike so if we do come down to about right here we could uh you know 18 or so then uh, we could start to build our short uh, position so i have an alert here about uh 18 on the vix we could see a market top so basically my warning to myself like don't start scaling into any shorts or any heavy shorts until we get down to that trend line at least so i'm not in any, any positions i'm not in any shorts or any longs i'm just chilling but looking to get in short uh, if we do push up and, and sweep those highs on ES on the daily chart. One last thing I want to cover is just the dollar. So on the dollar, we, like I said, we, we're looking to put in a bottom and start pushing back up. So if this does break out, we kind of are breaking out, but you know, let's say we have a slow trend line, we're kind of breaking out. But what I want to see more is, you know, we put in this, this low here. If we do push up and get above 103, that's a true confirmation for a breakout on market structure shift to the upside. So definitely look out for a lot more downside on uh, ES in NASDAQ. If we do get this push to 103, I think we'll continue back up and maybe push to 105 at some point in the coming months. I'm basically looking out for the shorts and I'm looking to see it, how that works out, but we still have that divergence there on DJT. Like I said, we're putting in lower highs. So, you know, have this alert set here because we could push up, make another lower high and ES makes another higher high again a signal to uh look out on the short side so everything's kind of brewing and, and just waiting for kind of a, a relatively big drop on es and nasdaq and um, that drop will come in the next uh, week so it'll start at least in the next week so i personally believe that we're going to see a top in the next two to three maybe four max trading days and then uh we'll be looking for shorts at this time at some point in this trading week to swing short into some point leading towards near the end of April. And that's where I'm looking to take profit. That's going to conclude this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader. I personally post two videos a week, one every Wednesday or Thursday, and then one on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.